the fast way is, is drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. You're a super villain. <laughs> That's what a super villain does. Yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? Nick here. How are you? For those of you that don't know either Buzz Aldrin or Elon Musk, chances are you're probably living under a rock. One is the billionaire genius behind several next generation technologies like Tesla and SpaceX, and the other is an early pioneer of space travel. And both of their most recent interests have been in colonizing Mars. Now being completely honest, such a prospect isn't new. It's the subject of countless sci-fi films, an ongoing project at NASA, and most recently the obsession of some very brilliant and wealthy people. The largest issue at hand comes from the planet's inhabitable environment and most obviously its ridiculous cost of living. However, both Aldrin and Musk have claimed to resolve the dilemma in radically different fashions. On one hand, we have a total thermo transformation of Mars's climate by dropping nuclear weapons on each pole. And on the other hand, we have an ingenious cycler design that orbits permanently from Mars to Earth. Both are revolutionary extremes that might actually help us fulfill a generation long desire to colonize Mars. Let's check it out. Buzz Aldrin, the second person to sleep on the moon, has been a huge supporter of Mars-driven exploration since the early 80s. He's joined arms with the Florida Institute of Technology to exact his master plan to colonize Mars by 2039, and he's patented several technologies to help redefine cost and crew security during interplanetary voyages, not the least of which is the Aldrin Cycler. Aldrin envisions use of two robotic spacecraft cyclers that are engaged in permanent round-trip rotation between Mars and Earth. As each cycler passes close to Earth, three crew members will switch spacecraft in a rendezvous of the ages, transporting either cargo or up to three crew members. The outbound trips would last for around 150 days, and the return trips would last around 650. Aldrin's complete plan consists of several stages. The first establishes living quarters in the form of giant inflatable space habitats and a station on the lunar surface where technology can be tested and cargo dispatched. All the while, the cycler ships will be launched in permanent rotation between Earth and Mars. Once the crew and the necessary supplies are on the moon, the crew will drop an unmanned lander carrying a robotic assembly down to Mars and connect various habitat modules from the moon. They'll build the first Martian base without the time delays associated with control from Earth, and at that point, the first humans will begin colonizing the planet. It's pretty impressive. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, Elon Musk proposes a brute force way to impose a human's presence on the planet. His monstrously successful startup, SpaceX, has been testing next generation spacecraft, and his newest idea involves dropping nuclear bombs on Mars's poles, thus inducing rapid climate change and warming the planet up enough to sustain life. Radiation dissipation has been something that he's been thinking about, and to be fully honest, it's only a matter of time till he comes up with a solution. As you can see, we have two absolute stalwarts in the fields of both innovation and intellect, and their respective ambitions culminate in a common desire to colonize the previously elusive planet. It's amazing to see how such brain power is spearheading one of humanity's largest hurdles, and I'm filled with excitement to see where we go from here. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.